Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will be looking at Reflect, a messaging extension in Microsoft Teams. This is a simple yet effective tool that lets you check, navigate, and recognize your students' emotions and also deepen empathy among their peers. We will be looking at the educator and the student perspective of this tool and also things that I like and dislike. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Reflect uses emojis and emotional granularity to add the SEL pieces to your classroom. To add Reflect, simply navigate to your class, click on the channel that you want to add it to, and all the way in the bottom, click on New Conversation, and I'm gonna click on these three ellipses that let me manage my extension. And I'm going to search for Reflect. Please make sure you check and confirm with your IT that this extension has been added to your org. I'm gonna click on Reflect. And here it asks me to create a new Reflect check-in. The first one is your question. And when I click on this, drop down menu i have one two three four five six seven eight questions to choose from these have been categorized to personal and social and learning and here you can see i have how are you feeling overall how did your week feel for you how does your friendship feel today your mood your ability to succeed in the classes material growth and feeling about last assignment i'm going to choose how are you feeling today the next option is privacy here you have two options. One, educator can always see the student names and reflections, and classmates can see reflections but not the names. And the other option is classmates won't see anything. So as an educator, you will always see the names and reflections, but you can choose between what your students can see. Do you want your students to see how the mood of the classroom is, or you don't want them to see anything? I always want my students to see how the peers feel. I'm going to click on the first one where I can see the names and reflections, but classmates cannot see their names, but only reflections. And here you have an option to choose from duration. Let's say you want input synchronously or within five to 10 minutes, you have an option to choose from five minutes, two hour class, or eight hours, 24, three days, one week. So it totally depends on you and how you want to customize this. I usually teach online just because of the pandemic right now, and I want to give my students enough time to log in, check for this reflect, and then reflect back. So I'm gonna pick 24 hours for now. And all I have to do is click send. And as soon as I click send, here it pops up in my channel. Students get a notification saying that, hey, there is a reflect check-in posted by your instructor. You might wanna go ahead and check it. Now let's go ahead, take a look at how the student interface is, what options do they have and how they can see this reflect check-in. So this is how a student interface looks like. Students can go ahead and pick the emotions from right here, or when they click on this little explore button, a new reflect window pops up where students can name the emotions when they click on this little show more option. Let's go ahead and do that. And here I have to that smiling face, I can put a name to it, which is confident, excited, happy, motivated. The next one is again, creative, determined, energized. Let's see the next one. It is confused, tired. And I also have disappointed, overwhelmed, spectacle, worthless. And here, let's see the last one, which is again, miserable, um, frightened, frustrated. So this is the emotional granularity I was talking about. Here, our students can exactly pick what they want and we as educators can help them much better. Let's just say a student picked an emoji or an emotion and wants to change it. They can always go ahead and do so by simply going back and clicking this remove button and picking the one that they want. And when students click on view journal, they will have exactly what they picked the previous time, how they're feeling today and the emotions as well. 
Once the students have taken the survey, you as an educator have a complete idea of what your students are going through. So here is an example I have given in my class. All I have to do is click on that emoji and it tells me exactly how many students are feeling and what is the name of the emotion. So here I have a student who feels confident and here I have another student who feels excited. Let's go back and click on this little one right here and here I have student who feels excited, peaceful and this student did not name the emoji and here another student feels ambitious. So you as an instructor can go back and literally pick and choose what each student is feeling so you can address them better. I really wish this extension was rolled out before but better late than never. Something that I really dislike about this is the option of not having my own question. So when I click on the question here, I only have these eight questions to choose from. I really wish there was an option to add your own question. For instance, I had a test three review and I wanted to ask my students how they felt about the review, which I cannot. So that's the drawback of this messaging extension. But rest of all, I really enjoy exactly looking at what my students are feeling. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really want to use this Reflect app to check and recognize the student's emotions. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.